brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we're going to show you how to remove the uh, ground effects from the sides, the rocker panel, and the door. Tools you're going to need are T27, T10 Torx drivers, medium and small size flat blade screwdrivers, an 8mm wrench or socket and ratchet, a door panel clip tool or a putty knife, You'll need 13 millimeter, 932s, and 716 sockets with ratchet and extension, as well as a 10 millimeter wrench, a 716 deep socket, and I also use a pair of vice grips because I have encounter a, a bolt that falls apart due to some corrosion. To replace this rock, lock cylinder or to remove the lock cylinder for painting. First, you're going to want to remove the door panel. Um, I'm showing it here in fast motion. If you want to see this in regular speed just check out our other videos um, for the Camaro door panel removal and you can see it there although you can probably figure out enough to see that it's a few screws, unhook some of the switches and then carefully pry out on a bunch of pins and then lift the panel up and off. Okay, to remove uh, this piece of trim from the bottom of the door, uh, you're going to need to have your door panel off and then your window at least partially up. You can see that there's a nice easy one here, okay, that uh, nut comes off. And then inside the door, uh, there's a nut right there, okay, there's one right about in the middle of the door which you can pretty pretty easily reach just by reaching in with your hand there okay. and then there's another one right there and then another one right up here okay so these cap nuts here that are in the door jam are 13 millimeter Ten millimeter wrench. Okay, and I'm just going to fast forward here. All I'm doing is reaching inside the door, using that ten millimeter wrench uh, to loosen up those nuts, and then they actually pretty much come off by hand after that. And you got to reach way into the middle um, to get that middle one, and then the front one. Okay, so you can see here I have the ground effect mostly off, but what happened here is on this front nut, basically it totally fell apart. Okay, so what I've done is I've gotten all the other fasteners off, and now I'm turning this, and what I'm hoping that I'll do is just slowly loosen up that either the nut or the stud from the ground effect. And what I'm actually going to try to do is now walk onto the stud with some vice grips and try and twist the stud out of the ground effect. Okay so here's the back side of the door ground effect and you can see I got all the fast I got four of the fasteners out and then that front one I just was able to twist the uh, stud out 
so the stud is still here in the door and what I'll end up doing is just taking a sawzall and carefully cutting that off and then I'll just use a bolt or something to a short bolt to bolt it back on okay so now we have the doors off now we can get these main side ground effects off and you can see there's a bunch of um, Phillips screws up on top here and I'll show you the best way for getting those off then underneath there's a series of 932's bolts okay you need to remove all those and then hidden in behind and you can see somebody actually taped off this Z28 emblem there's no excuse for that because all this emblem does is just carefully pry it out Just carefully and lightly pry it, and it actually just pulls out of the ground effect. It just has little locking nylon tabs, and it pulls right out. So no one should have any excuse for taping over that. It actually probably took them longer to tape it up than to just take it out. And then in behind there, you can see there's two Phillips screws. And then also inside the car, um, you need to remove the rear quarter trim. Uh, which you can see that in some of our other other videos and there's a 7 16 speed nut right down in there that you need to remove okay so these Phillips screws can be uh, difficult to get out um, a few things make sure that your screwdriver has a good tip on it the tips not chewed up at all and obviously you can try and it looks like these come out pretty easily okay but if you get to one I'll just kind of make believe here. So if you get to one that's a problem, what you can do is put your screwdriver in, okay? Take this hand, start turning it counterclockwise, and then tap the hammer. The tapping sound both drives the screwdriver down into the screw so you have less chance of slipping, and the tapping also will loosen up the screw in the hole. We'll remove all these screws like that. And here I'm just going to fast forward as I use a 932 socket with a ratchet and a small extension and remove all those bolts along the bottom. As long as you have a 932 socket with a ratchet and extension, these are pretty easy to get out. Okay, to get this bolt, you will need a deep socket, 7 16 This one actually is 7 16 Plus the extension. Okay, I'm going to use an extending magnet. Get down in there, retrieve the bolt because my hand doesn't really fit in there. Okay, so we've got all the hardware out. Here are the screws that came out of the front. How they were holding on, I'm not sure because they, they are pretty rusty, but they did come out. Now, the whole ground effect comes off. Okay, here's my rocker and door effects. And then, just a good idea, keep all your hardware, all your nuts and bolts and everything. Even if you break stuff, put them in there. That way you'll have something to reference when you go to get new hardware um, and the emblems and everything. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free, 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.